welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor ranga rao karanam welcome back in this video we'll talk about profiles how you can define beans for a specific profile and also how you can create application configuration for a specific profile. Typically, when we develop applications, we deploy them in different kinds of environments, right? Dev, QA, stage, production, your local environment as well. So you have multiple environments in which your applications can be deployed. And the application configuration in each of these environments will definitely be different. So how do you handle those changes? The way we would handle them is by something called a profile. Spring Boot has this concept called profile built in. Profile is the way we can answer the question, how do you have different configuration for different environments? The way we can have different configuration for different environments is by defining individual property files for each one of them. So all the common properties you can define in application.properties. If you want to override any of the properties in a specific environment, so let's say I want to override the properties in dev. Then I can create application hyphen dev dot properties in QA, application hyphen QA dot properties. So once I define these properties, the only thing I would then need to be doing is to set that profile for that environment. So if in the QA environment, I would want to make use of application hyphen QA dot properties, whatever is defined in there, then I would need to set a profile of QA for that application. How do I set this profile of QA? The way I can set a profile of QA is by either when you're launching up the Java application, Spring Boot application as a Java application, you can pass in an argument saying hyphen D spring dot profiles dot active is equal to, you can say if it's QA, QA. Or in application properties, application dot properties file itself, you can say spring dot profiles dot active is equal to QA. These are the two ways which are present where you can set a profile and based on the profile which is present in there, appropriate file from the application properties is picked up. This allows us to configure different values in different environments. All that you need to do is change the profile. So if I'm in production, I would set a profile of prod. If I'm in QA, I'll set the profile of QA. As simple as that. As we discussed earlier, based on the active profile, appropriate configuration is picked up. Whichever thing you set as the active profile, it will be used to pick up the appropriate configuration. And profiles can be used to configure different kinds of resources, right? Whenever I talk about an application, you'd have application related configuration as well as the resources that the application connects to. So things like databases, queues, external web services that you might be using, all that might be different from one environment to another environment and all those kind of things can be configured in these different files and as long as you configure that specific profile for that specific environment you are done we looked at what is a profile we looked at how to create application configuration for a specific profile right so application configuration for specific profile is created by creating the appropriate file one more important thing that you can do with your profiles is use your profiles in code to define your beans. So this dev bean here has an add profile annotation with a value dev. So this bean will be only available in the profile dev. Here this particular bean will only be available in a profile of prod. So you can customize even Java beans to be available based on this specific profile. While this might be looking like an interesting feature, I would actually recommend against using it because this might, if you have beans like this defined between different environments that are directly in your code, then your code is becoming specific to a specific environment. I don't really like that. Unless it's absolutely mandatory, try and avoid using this kind of stuff in your code. In this video, we talked about profiles. Until the next video, bye-bye. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 Minutes.